Hello, welcome to our Wednesday devotional. I trust that you'll have a wonderful day today. My wife uh, forgot to get some medicine the other day. They texted her and told her it was ready, and so she forgot to get it. So as I left the house one morning, I said, don't forget to get that medicine today that you um, forgot to get yesterday. She said, oh yeah, you mean the medicine that's supposed to help me not forget? Isn't that funny? Sometimes we forget things that we ought to remember and remember things we ought to forget. I was reading recently in the book of Deuteronomy where Moses is giving the people instructions before they enter the promised land. They've traveled and traveled and now the old people have died off and the young people are ready to go in and Moses will really die before they go into the promised land. So he says, here, let me, let me give you all this instruction. The instructions were these. Remember what God has done for you. Remember the victories he's given us. And he would just list all these things. And then he got in Deuteronomy chapter 4 in verse 9. And he said, take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget. Wow. Wow. And then he went on and told more things that God had done for them and how they needed to remember those things. And then in verse 23, he said, Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget. I think we would be wise to remember what God's done for us. I think sometimes we get busy with what we're doing, we get busy with the future, and we forget what God has done. Let me remind you this morning, and I hope be a blessing to you, Remember that God has saved us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus Christ died for us. God provided salvation. Now, we take that for granted almost after we've been saved a while, but that means our sins are forgiven. What a joy that is. That means that God's preparing for us a place in heaven. That means we don't have to pay the penalty for our sinfulness. He has saved us. What a wonderful thing. Don't forget that he saved us. Secondly, don't forget that he's provided for us. Most of you probably are like me in that you can look back at times in your life when God has supplied a need or provided something in a very spectacular, even miraculous way. I wish I could talk to each one of you and hear your stories. But I know in our lives, there have been times when we didn't know where the answer was coming from. We didn't know where the money was coming from to pay a certain bill. And God provided our needs. What a blessing it is. Let's not forget. Let's remember these things. Another thing is this. He's protected us. He's protected us. Um, we were driving past an accident the other day. And on the other side of the road, we saw the accident. It looked like it had been a bad accident. And as we drove by, we thanked God for his protection in our lives every day. I think there are many times he's protected us when we had no idea of the danger that we were in. Let's be thankful for God's protection. And right now in our church, there are several that are very sick. If you're not sick, thank God for his protection, protecting you from diseases and protecting you from accidents. What a joy it is. Let's not forget. And that way it'll help us look at the future and see God is good. God will be good in the future as he is today. Let's not forget. And then let's not forget the privilege we have of representing him. Now, when I think about that, it's amazing to me that God gives me that privilege. If somebody's representing me, I want them to represent me properly. I don't want some, someone to represent me and use uh, poor grammar and represent me and be slovenly in their work behavior and uh, represent me and look like a slob. I want them to look sharp, act sharp, dress sharp. And God wants us to be his representatives. Don't you think that's important? We're ambassadors, the Bible said. We're ambassadors for Christ. What a blessing it is that we have the privilege of representing him and telling others about him. So my thought today is simply this. As you're going about your day, if things become discouraging, don't forget what God has already done. Moses said, take heed unto yourself, lest thou forget. And I would encourage you and me, take heed to ourselves, 
lest we forget. God is good. God has been good to us. God will continue to be good to us. Let's be a blessing to someone today. God bless you.